In this video, I'm going to assemble a power bank case uh, that I just recently bought from AliExpress. So this particular case takes uh, four 18650 batteries and it has an LCD display, as you can see here. Um, yeah, it's a pretty simple circuit. Uh, it has two USB outputs. So let's put this aside for a second. And the first thing I need to do, since unfortunately the case doesn't have any connectors for the batteries, I have to solder the batteries together um, in a parallel circuit. So I have four 18650 batteries uh, that I need to solder together. So first thing I'm going to do is just going to put a rubber band around them to have them kind of stable make it easy for me to solder them and I'm just using bare wire to solder these Okay, so now I have them all soldered together, so I have a battery pack and now I need to solder the positive and negative battery terminal connectors to the circuit board that came with the power bank case. And then solder the wires to the battery itself. So once I have that done, I should be able to test the circuit itself. Let's check whether the circuit is actually working. There you go. Unfortunately, you don't see it in the video itself because the, uh, the backlight is too bright. But it's showing me the power output from the um, cell bank. Okay, so let's put this into the case. It's a bit of a snug fit. So I'm going to make sure that it goes in nicely. And let's assemble the button, the power button on the side is actually two pieces that I need to assemble it and a four piece falling out so I need to have the case tilted. And then there is a like a mini torch on the other side of the case. So trying to get this in without damaging the solders that I've just made on the battery pack itself. Once it's all done, it's pretty snug fit. I could have taken the rubber bands out at this point, but you know, it's not as if I am short on rubber bands, so I just leave it in. Once that's done, there's just two screws that hold the circuit board uh, with the case itself. So I'm going to screw those in. Now that's done, I'm just going to double check everything is working. So, yeah, the torch is on. The torch works by double pressing the power button. And the power comes on and off just by the toggle of the power button. So, I have these, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what to call it, but it's just a nice cover for the LCD display and the torch light. So, it makes it look nice and neat. And finally, I just need to close the case, which snaps on I need to make sure that they're right the right way around just snaps on press it there we go. Snap on one more that's it that's pretty much done it's all ready so I've powered on and I'll put my USB tester in there you can see this putting up 5.11 volts on one of them let's try the other one we got the same 5.1 volts. Uh, let's just focus in here on 5.1, 5.11. So let's put some load on there. I have a USB camera. I'm just going to plug that in. It doesn't really throw that much power, but just let's see whether I'm able to power it up with this power bank. 
Yeah. So you can see the voltage drop down to 4.96 volt. Obviously, that's under loads and uh, it's putting up on 0.79 amp. Let's try the other port. And that seems to be working fine as well. see you can see the battery pack is at 89% when it's charging it shows the uh, it, the display accordingly shows that it's actually voltage coming in or current coming in and when it's drawing power from it then it shows it's out and which port was being used so it's a pretty nifty case uh, I'll put the links in from where I got it uh, that's it that's all for now hopefully I'll see you guys again